You see, two for example of this halal cake, they will move to the next one. It is started by another two for examples. First compound, let's start with the next one. For example, you have one line structure also. How to, number, how to label this compound IUPAC name? As is told, first select the longitude of carbon atom. If you select the longitude of carbon atom, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we label. Now, if you label from left hand side or right hand side, you will find. Here it's getting what the same number that is three numbers. So we we'll label from right hand side one, two, three, four, five. So if we label from a right hand side, you find that the chlorine atom acquire lowest possible number that is three. And if we label from left hand side, we we'll find again it's getting what the same same number. But now if you just close this chlorine atom and if you want to label this compound, you will find that if you label from left hand side. This methyl group getting number 2. So after a chlorine, the branches are 3 methyl groups. So it is very easy. Now you have to see that this methyl group also must get what lowest possible number. So we will label from 1, 2, 3. We will label from left hand side, not a right hand side. So this is a wrong method. Just cancel this. We are going to label from left hand side. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Why this? Chlorine fix number 3. Now we are going to compare with this only methyl groups we label from left hand side. So what is the name for this compound? We find that if we 3 chloro, after 3 chloro we find that this is 2,2, 2,2, 2, 2, 3, trimethyl, total number of carbon 5, so it is pentane. Next compound again what you have to see the longitude of carbon atom. So we will first see the longitude of carbon atom is this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The longest chain is 6 carbon atom. Now you have to label number this chain. If you number from this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, chlorine atom acquire the lowest possible number that is 4. If you label from right hand side, this is 1, 2 and 3. So we label from this way 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So you can easily able to number this. This is 3 chloro. Where are the methyl branches are? This fourth carbon atom contain what two methyl branches? You will write 4 comma 4 dimethyl hexane. Now the next compound is in a bond line structure. You have to first select as usual longitude chain of carbon atom. If you select the longitude chain of carbon atom, you will find this is 1. Second carbon atom, third carbon atom, fourth, fifth, and sixth carbon atom. So it is hexane. Your second carbon atom contain chlorine, methyl, and fourth carbon atom also contain methyl groups. So for what you're going to write is if it's two chloro, then two, then four dimethyl. It's two chloro dash two comma four dimethyl. Total number of carbon 6, so it is hexane. So, very simple compound. Huh? Okay, let's start with something, some examples of dialogic derivatives of halalkin only. The name for this compound is dichloromethane. find this both this carbon atom first carbon atom also contain chlorine atom while second atom also contain chlorine atom so how to label this compound it's very simple 
This is one two dichloroethane. This is one comma two dichloroethane. Same thing you can easily able to write for trilogy derivative also. If it's the best compound we have seen already, this is common name is chloroform. But if you want to write IAPS of this, this is very simple. Trichloromethane, trichloro three car three chlorine atom, methane one carbon atom. So this is trichloromethane. So we'll just start with another examples for this. Next example is Okay, let's start this IUPAC name for this compound is so you will find this is cyclohexane so this is chlorocyclohexane now this is also cyclohexane containing two chlorine atom so how to write this you have to number this compound first you will number this 1, 2 and 3 so we will write this is 1 comma 3 dichlorocyclohexane Next compound is again you have to number starting with number one. You can't number from right hand side this way. You have to number first methyl group two, three, four, five, and six. So you will find this is what? This is one chloro, two methyl cyclohexane. <coughs> So these are the examples we have seen in the IUPAC naming system for halolicane. Just you have to see that this must be halolicane. Yes, this is halolicane. All these examples are halolicane only. Let's start with the next example. Now, we are going to see two full examples of now <coughs> halorine. Now, halorine, we we'll write first example, then we will start IPS naming system. Now understand the first one. We know this common name system. This is chlorobenzene. Now we can this is a dihalogen derivative of haloarenes. So this is one. Remember this. This is one and this is what a two. So this will be one comma two. Dichlorobenzene. This will be the IUPAC name of this compound. Next one. Again, you have to number this. This is 1, 2, and 3. So, what will be the IUPAC name of this compound? Is this is 1, 3 dichlorobenzene. Start the next one. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 1, 4 trichloro. 1, 4. Trichlorobenzene. Next compound is again you have to remember this. this is one, two, three. So one comma two comma three trichlorobenzene. So one comma two comma three trichlorobenzene. 
So many of this compound you can easily able to write what common names also. This is chlorobenzene as usual. You can write for if you want a common name of this. This is ortho position, meta position, and para position. You will write ortho dichlorobenzene. This is meta dichloro. Benzene and this is para. This is para dichloro benzene. So these are the naming systems for halorene.